Um, I just did a video. First I did a video for the makeup look that I'm wearing right now. I did kind of a, not really a tutorial, it was just more of like a, well I guess it was a tutorial a little bit, um, where I did my makeup recording a video. So um, there's that and then I also did a uh, swatch video for all these pink lipsticks um, that I have in my collection, kind of like red pinks that specifically I think would work well for um, type 4 people who are doing Dress Your Truth by Carol Tuttle, which I've been into lately. I am a type 4 and um, so, you know, I'm always trying to figure out what what colors work for me and um, I think most of these colors, if not all of them, would work well for type 4s like me. And most of these are pretty much, you know, cheap from the drugstore, so I thought they could be helpful um, for people who are looking for type 4 lipsticks to wear. So I'll be uploading that. If you're interested, you can check that out or the tutorial of my face. Um, right now, I am figured I would take go uh, keep going with the swatches and do maybe some reds in my collection because red is another um, big, you know, common color for us type fours to wear a nice bold red lip. So um, I'll just be going through some of these in my collection and. Um, some of them may not be like readily available or may have even been discontinued by the brand So if that's the case, I will I will talk about that while I'm swatching it and Maybe let you know some places you can find it if you are so inclined so First up uh, I figured I would just swatch this um, I was just talking in my last video about uh, This brand this is bite bite beauty. You can see the little bite logo on there uh, they sell these at Sephora. They pretty much make exclusively lip, lipsticks and lip products, I think. Um, this is their newer main um, lipstick uh, kind of line, their core line, I believe. This is the Amuse Bouche lipstick line. Um, they have quite a few colors. And this was in this little gift set that I got last year uh, for my birthday. Uh, it was four of their lipsticks. So this one is called Cayenne and it's just it's like a bold I'll do it on this hand I guess but it's gonna be harder so bear with me. Um, it's a bold warm red and I'm not you know I don't have like as many specific type 4 reds like I'm not I'm not as sure with the reds like what is good for type 4s and what's not um, I mean I guess you know you could wear this if you're type 4 you totally could especially if you maybe have a little bit more warmth in your complexion naturally um, I'm very pink so I tend to gradually not gradu gravitate <laughs> what am I saying I tend to gravitate more towards the um, like blue reds but this one is really nice and I love this lipstick formula this amuse bouche formula all the bite lipsticks I've ever tried have been great um, they are pricier but if you're going to invest in a color that you're gonna wear all the time you could get something from bite and it would be an investment and I just think their lipsticks are really great these are very moisturizing and very they feel good to wear and they last a long time but as you can see the pigment is not lacking in this product so I think that's just a really nice bold red that would look great I could totally wear this um, so yes um, okay another brand this one's somewhat a little bit more specialty I guess because you would need to order this from their site um, this one I've had for several years this is by Ofra I don't know if you can kind of the logo is all worn off this is the color Atlantic City um, it is a bit more of a dark red it's it is very bold obviously all these reds are going to be bold so I feel like they could work for anyone it's a little bit darker 
Um, so, you know, this may be too dark for some fair skin folks. Uh, I have pictures of me wearing this that I had posted in the Type 4 group. Um, I used to wear this a lot. This was kind of my first foray into um, liquid lipsticks a few years ago when they were like all the rage and everybody was making and selling and buying, you know, and wearing liquid lipsticks. Um, I liked these because they were comfortable and not drying. However, they did not quite they were very long lasting, but they did not dry to the complete matte, like budge proof finish that a lot of the other matte liquid lipsticks were doing. So that's kind of why I liked it. But I've since graduated to other products that I have been preferring. So I haven't been wearing that one as much, but it is nice. Um, so if you watched my pink pinks video you know that I love these wet n wild um, balm stains these are so inexpensive and they're so awesome I've been using these almost exclusively for the past like four or five years because I just love them they last all day because they stain and they're just really easy to wear this is how I got into like wearing bold and bright colors like outside of the house because these I felt like these were just so easy and because they're balm stains, they're, they are a little bit more sheer. Um, so I feel like that makes them easier to wear. So I would wear these to like church or anywhere without problems. It was pretty easy. So this shade is called Ready or Not. It is a red, but it's... It's a little bit muted. I guess you could even call it a little bit of a berry red. Um, but, you know, it stains pretty red. And so this is a good, I feel like it could be a good um, option if you are not used to wearing red lipstick, especially out of the house. Um, you're not sure, you're not used to wearing lipstick, period. And you're not sure about like, you know having to bring it out with you and touch it up if you're going to be out all day all that kind of stuff um this would be a good option because you can pretty much put this on in the morning or whenever and because it's a stain it will last pretty much all day uh you shouldn't need to touch this up like you know so if you want to make sure that it's very low maintenance is what i'm trying to say so this is a good option for people who want just a very low maintenance like red lipstick that's red but it's not like in your face so it's kind of a good training product I guess you could call it so uh, I don't know if they still I haven't been seeing these in the wet n wild displays in like CVS and all those places but I'm sure you could still get it uh, I don't know if they have them even on their website wet n wilds website but I'm sure you can still buy these places um, Amazon if nowhere else so you can probably just Google you know, buy Wet n Wild, ready or not, something along those lines and you would come across sites that are selling them. So, in case you can't see the ready or not, red is, ready is spelled like red dash B, because it's red, so yeah, they're very clever with their names, which I really like that. Um, along the same lines, this is another Wet n Wild that I actually just bought because I walked into a Rite Aid and they had the display right up front. And I was like, whoa. However, this was a limited collection from the spring. So I was really surprised to see this because this, you know, shouldn't be available. Like I haven't been seeing these anywhere for a long time, but um, you can probably get it still on Wet n Wild's website and maybe a few other places. This is a gloss. It's called Lovebird Affair. Um, it's like I said, I just bought this just because I really like Wet n Wild. I really like their lip products and I just really wanted to, you know, since it was limited and I saw it there, I just wanted to get it. Um, it I'm making a mess. Anyway, you can see that it's a gloss. You can see that it's quite pigmented. Um, it's kind of like a bright tomato color with a little bit of a, well, no, yeah, it's like a bright tomato red. Um, so, you know, it's pretty. It 
can be, I mean, it is very thin. It has a very thin consistency. It's not sticky or anything, but it's very thin. So it can be tricky. I wore this to church um, a couple weeks ago in the evening. And I had to, basically what I had to do was apply it um, as best I could. It does apply pretty unevenly because it's, it's such a thin gloss, but it is also so pigmented. It's a little bit hard to apply. Uh, so what I did was just apply it as best I could. I applied it very heavily and then I blotted my lips a bit. Um, just because my lips looked so wet and so, you know, uh, and I was going to church. So this is not going to last all day. Um, I just thought it was a fun product to include in my reds. So, you know, again, if you wanted to, you could probably find this online. Uh, here's another Wet n Wild. This is called Cherry Frost. It's um, just one of their little like 99 cent, $2 whatever uh, lipsticks. It's very creamy, again, very kind of moisturizing compared to their other line, which are the matte, matte lipsticks. I hate how they stick up and you can't twist it down though, so I'm always afraid that when I try to pull the lid off, it's gonna like nick the lipstick. So anyway, this is just kind of a typical red, but it has a little bit of like a metallic like frost in it, which is kind of cool. It makes it a little more interesting. Um, it does have a very kind of a pink base to it. That's it right there. So it is gonna be a cooler, almost a pinky red. But you can, you can even see the little bit of metallic sheen that it has, which is pretty cool. So, and these are like 99 cents or $2 at drugstores. You should be able to find this in stores, I think. So that's Cherry Frost. I think that's really pretty. Um, Here's another Wet n Wild. This is from their regular like matte lipstick line that has been super popular for the past, you know, I don't know how many years. These had like a cult following, you know, um, for a long time because they were super affordable. These were like one or two dollars. Um, super affordable drugstore lipsticks that were matte and they really pack a punch. They're very um, very pigmented so and there's a, a quite a large range of colors um, this is not the one that I wanted to include in this video I wanted to do stoplight red because that is like one of my holy grail reds holy grail if you're familiar with that uh, saying it basically means that it's like your you know your top like absolute best favorite product ever um, as far as reds it would be your number one red um, but stoplight red I just I loved that lipstick I thought even though I'm I'm wasn't and still am not it's not my favorite formula um, especially over time I find that they can get a bit dry so especially the darker colors when I tried to apply them they would just tug and pull at all my little lip lines and like if you have any little dry patches on your lips or anything these can get like it just really wasn't wasn't good and I didn't wasn't super into like the dry matte formula but um, stoplight red was so beautiful that I would make an exception to it and um, you know I felt like it was just the perfect like blue based red that just looked so good I loved it on me I loved it on my sisters I just thought it was beautiful I don't know where it went it you know I don't know where it is but anyway this one is red velvet so it's similar but it's not the same uh, I never you know haven't really worn this one because I wasn't I didn't like it as much as stoplight red but I'll include it here for just for the heck of it it's, it's like a softer red. It's a little bit warm, kind of like a rose red, I guess, like a rose color. It's not the, you know, stoplight, like, you know, 
um, kind of siren, you know, pinup like bombshell blue base, perfect red that uh, stoplight red is, but it's similar. I feel like it's just a tiny bit softer, so, but yeah, these are pretty good. The reds and pinks are good. Um, I was showing in my pinks video the cherry picking, which is a gorgeous lipstick. I wore this the other day when I went to the mall. Haven't worn it in many years and I just dug it out again because it's so pretty. It's actually almost exactly the same as this Revlon Cherries in the Snow. So they're both like the same color. They're just slightly different formulas. Um, I feel like this one is a little bit deeper, uh, a little bit more pigmented, like just a little bit richer color, but it is a more matte finish. Um, this one that I'm wearing right now is very much creamier and it's a super lustrous so it's very creamy and just very like it'll be very shiny after you apply it so I actually blotted it down you can see it still has a little bit of shine to it um, it's very comfortable and it's staying on pretty well as I'm like talking and stuff here it's not like getting all over the place so uh, but yeah they're very very similar this one will be a little bit cheaper maybe a few dollars cheaper but this one is not expensive by any means. I think it's under $6 in most like drugstores. So, um, you know, they're both really good if you're looking for this like fuchsia red pink that just looks super fresh and beautiful, especially with black eyeliner, mascara, a little blush, like you can't go wrong, you know? Okay, so um, let me do the annoying one first and then I'll do the last two. This is a Urban Decay, one of their Vice lip palettes that I got. Uh, my sister got me this for my birthday a few years ago. Um, I just don't use these much because they're kind of a pain. Uh, you have to use a lip brush. I have never been a big fan of lip brushes. I prefer to apply the lipstick straight from the tube or bullet or wand or whatever it is and just do that and, you know, that's it. I don't don't usually use lip liners. I don't usually use lip brushes unless I'm trying to be super precise and it's like a really like dark or like super dramatic or bold color. And I like I'm going to a wedding or something along those lines and I just want to look super like I just want everything to be perfect and precise. But I'm pretty good at applying like straight from the tube. Um, you can see me apply this straight from the tube in my like tutorial video that I did earlier. So, but it does come with a lip brush, which I have around here somewhere. It's like a retractable, um, here it is, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's a cool brush. Um, you just, you know, okay, there we go. see, it just comes in and out. It's a little stained because I used it a couple times, but um, it's kind of cool. Like if you want to take it in your purse with you for like touch-ups or something, you can just close it like that. There are companies that sell brushes like this. You can get retractable lip brushes. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't like the fact that I can't take it with me, you know, in my purse for touch-ups and stuff. Um, but anyway, it is a fun little palette and it does have a range of colors, which is why I wanted it. So I should have included maybe these two colors or maybe even this one. Well, not the middle one, because I think, no, it's too nude. But these two, this is like a berry fuchsia, and this one's like a bright, bright, kind of a pink, but it's mostly like this metallic, like glittery shimmer in it. But I don't know. Anyway, I wanted to show you this one particular shade here called Easy. Um, this is from, I think this is one of the Gwen Stefani colors. Um, when she collaborated with Urban Decay. So this is kind of like one of her signature colors. It's a very warm, bright, almost like a coral red, I guess you could say. Let me see if I can do this without making a mess. A pretty good swatch. So, yeah. I mean, it's, it's nice. I've worn this in for makeup looks that I've done for my blog. 
Um, Urban Decay has multiple different formulas. They have like six different lipstick formulas. There's like super matte and like matte and like comfort matte and like cream and sheer and glossy and metallic and like all these different sh um, finishes for their lipsticks. I'm not sure which one this is. It's very creamy. Um, so yeah, probably a cream cream finish, I guess. Anyway, I just thought I would, it looks brighter in person than it's showing up on camera. It's, it's a bright, bright, like fire engine red, almost coral lipstick. Like I would say this borders maybe even on neon. Get the brush after I wiped it off. It's like crazy. So yeah, if you like Urban Decay lipsticks or if you're looking for, you know, maybe a warmer bright lipstick that's not going to be too like orange or too you know whatever then this could be maybe a good good one for you all right so now that that one's out of the way um i want to show my two very favorite red lip products right now i have been wearing the heck out of these i love them both um i'll start with this one or no, I'll start with this one. Uh, this one is from their core line. I actually got this one a couple months ago, so it's technically newer. A lot of the other lipsticks that I have or I've had for like a year or two years or, you know, whatever. Um, these liquid cat suits, like I was talking about in my pinks video, these are really good. Um, some colors are better than others. The lighter shades are not good. Um, I've heard that they they just don't apply well. They're not, they're kind of streaky and they're just, you know, but for us type fours, it shouldn't matter anyway because we're not gonna be wearing the nude colors. But um, the reds and like the, the pinks and things are really good. So the, the more saturated colors, the bolder colors, which is perfect for us. So this one is from their core line. So you should be able to walk into any drugstore almost or Target or Walmart or wherever and find this. This is uh, called Missy and Fierce. I don't know where this name came from. I don't know what it stands for, um, but it's, the lipstick is great. It's a liquid formula. It comes with a doe foot applicator like this. And the curved applicator is not the best for swatching but so if it looks a little like uneven that's why now this red looks kind of dark it looks almost like a brick red on the camera but in person it's a bright like bright red well I wouldn't say bright it's bold it's it's beautiful um, it's kind of more of a, a little bit more of a blue base to it so it's slightly cooler red but I, I anybody could wear blue base reds look good on everybody you know um, so this lipstick I bought it and then I took it on vacation um, back in July when we went to the Outer Banks in North Carolina so it was like a beach vacation we stayed for a week and I was in vacation mode so I was feeling much more like laid back as far as makeup um, we mostly spent spent our days like bumming around the house um, you know we went to the beach a couple days we went we had our own pool at the house where we were staying so um, I was just feeling very laid back I was doing very minimal makeup I wasn't doing foundation um, I would just do like a little bit of you know like my brows and like a little mascara and this lipstick and I felt so amazing in this just this red and I didn't even care it used to be that I couldn't wear lipstick unless I had like my skin like had foundation and I was like all flawless and everything but I didn't even care um, and I felt felt like excuse me too much talking I felt like it still looked amazing and I felt good and it was great so I wore this like all week on beach vacation it's just a bold true red I would say you know like a little bit more blue based red and um, I love it 
So I was wearing this. This is available. It's current. You should be able to get this for under $5. And that was my favorite red until I tried this red which is actually an older red. This, again, I think this was from last year's fall collection, um, which I don't know why it took me so long to try it, but uh, anyway. So this one will not be available in stores. You may be able to find it online somewhere to order, um, but yeah, I mean, if you if you can't find this one, this one is, is fine. Um, they're just slightly different colors. You know, this one's a little more blue based. This one, I would say is a, I would call it a true, true, like neutral, true red. I don't think it's, a lot of people said it was like an orange or like an orange red. I guess it depends on who you are and like your skin tone and all that kind of stuff. I did not find it to be orange at all. I just think that it's just the perfect, true, neutral, like perfect red and I'll swatch it next to the other one so that you can see how they compare now this one the formula I mean it's gotten thicker because I've had it for a year so it is thicker it's a little bit harder to apply it doesn't wear quite as nicely because it's not brand new um, they do have sorry here it is here this one so you can see it's a little warmer than the other one it might be even be a little bit lighter than the other one or maybe it's just the way I applied it I'm not really sure but I this was my favorite red until I started wearing this one and I'm just obsessed with this one I love it so much I wish that it was not a limited product Ugh. Um, now having said that I will say that they do have a uh, warmer red in their core collection right now where you can just you know the ones that they have all the time It's not limited edition. So you could walk into any CVS or you know drugstore or whatever You could find you should be able to find this color and then a slightly warmer Like red that I'm hoping is really similar to this one. I'm hoping it's a just a like more neutral true red like this um because this one, like I said, is a little bit, it's old, so it's, you know, doesn't apply as nicely. It's a little bit thicker. And I want to be able to recommend it, you know, and suggest it for, for people to buy. But I think this one is just going to be too hard to find. You can try. Um, how fleek is your love? So, you know, try Googling it. You could be able to find it maybe on somewhere, Amazon or, you know, whatever. But I just loved what this did. For me and my skin tone, I just thought it was like the prettiest true red and it just was so beautiful. I wore it on my birthday, um, you know, I just love it. And what I love about these lipsticks is that they, unlike um, bullet, some bullet formulas, especially matte lipsticks, like I have a bunch of these um, Maybelline, like these are the well, this one is bold. It says, you know, this is one of their bold colors that they came out with like a year ago or two years ago or whatever. But basically, it's like, it's a matte. Um, I think, where is it? It's this one right here. So you can see it has less shine than the other ones. Um, a lot of people were raving over Maybelline's. They have like a, a matte line of lipstick. But I just found them to be too thick, too matte. I mean, they're nice, but they're not what I prefer. And especially with me, uh, you know, sometimes having dry lips and like, you know, I found that um, bullet lipsticks, especially darker, bolder colors, can tend to tug and pull on my lips. They don't go on very smoothly. And, um, you know, they if I had any dryness in my lips, they would like grab onto that and accentuate the dryness and it basically they were just kind of a mess and they I just didn't prefer that however these liquid formulas and others like them there are other lip, liquid lipsticks that I have tried that are good as well but these in particular um, the bold shades like in the middle of the range are really good 
they because they're liquid they're like melted you know it's like a regular lipstick that got melted they're just basically pure like liquid pigment um, and they just go on so smoothly so if you have trouble with dryness in your lips you may want to check out some of these liquid lipsticks because I find that they they go on a lot smoother and you know are not as uh, problematic for drier lips um, so they go on better they dry completely and they dry matte and they are very stay proof so these are my go-to's when I am going out all day and I you know don't want to be touching up having to worry about touching up my lipstick or having it wear off or anything like that but I want that bold you know true like defined lip these are perfect and they're you can get them at drugstores and they're under five dollars so it's it's crazy that's awesome um, so yeah definitely check those out if you are interested another uh, liquid lip kind of line that I've tried I haven't tried a lot because I just you know I don't know but I've also tried another really popular brand is um, ColourPop the logo is a bit worn off but these they have these they now sell ColourPop at Ulta I'm not sure how many of the, the liquid lips that they would have but um, yeah they I've tried a couple of these they're very hit or miss so I would say definitely research before you you buy uh, but they're also very inexpensive I think most of their liquid lip colors they have again a couple different formulas I think they're like six dollars or 650 so inexpensive they have a huge color range um, so yeah I would definitely say check them out if you're interested in liquid lipsticks um, this one is a red but it's like a it's more of like a fall red almost like a brick red maybe I don't know um, I really liked this color and I actually wore it quite a bit until I you know learned about like dressing my truth and being type 4 and being a little more like bright um, I could probably still wear it it's just you can see it's a darker red than these um, but you can see how pigmented it is and how smoothly it went on. These are very liquidy. These are more liquidy than the Wet n Wild. These are a little bit thicker, a little more mousse-like, but these are very liquidy. This one's called Lost. So it is, a, it is a really nice red. I would recommend it. It's, you know, very pretty, but you have to use your discretion if you're type four or any other type, you know, um, just use your discretion, you know. Don't take my word for it, you know. If you want to try it, go ahead and try it. Um, I think it's really pretty. And it's very striking. I feel like Snow White when I wear it, you know. Um, but it is a darker red, so, you know, if you're looking for something really bright, then this is not it. But their lipsticks are good. Like I said, they're hit or miss. So just do, do some research before you, you know, invest. Uh, this one... I can't remember if this was, I think this was an ultra satin. So they have a couple different, again, a couple different um, formulas for their liquid lipsticks. They have ultra matte, ultra satin, uh, ultra gloss, I think. Uh, they have a couple different, they have an ultra blotted lip. They have, which is kind of more of like that stained effect. Uh, they have ultra metallic. Um, you know, so again, they have all different types of um, things. Some of the ultra mats are really good and some of them are really bad. So again, just do your research. <laughs> Check it out ahead of time. Find out what's good and what's not. Um, ultra satins, all the ultra satins I've tried have been great. Um, they are not stay proof or, well, I mean, they're stay proof, but they're not transfer proof. So meaning they will stay on your lips they give you great, you know, pigment. Um, they just stay satiny. They have a very nice satiny finish. Um, so they will stay on all day because they're just so pigmented, but they will transfer to anything you touch. You know, if you drink from a cup, you will have a full rim of lipstick on that cup. It'll still be on your lips. It won't come off your lips, but it will come off on anything that touches your lips. Um, so the ultra satins are not transfer proof. 
but they are really nice they're very they're more comfortable to wear I think um, if you're worried about like your lips getting dried out or anything like that um, the ultra mattes that are good are are very good but there are some that are just terrible and they're just super drying and just really bad so do your research <laughs> um, so okay that's pretty much it for my reds video um, yeah like I said I haven't bought lipstick in a while um, this is probably the most recent oh wait um, I have one more red to show what am I doing this one again is a newer newer lipstick that I purchased uh, a few months ago I got this uh, in my video my pinks video I talked about um, this one that I bought the fuchsia flash which used to be part of this line of called Maybelline vivids they're just really bright lipstick colors but I think what they did was take this color and move it to their normal line so it doesn't even say vivid anymore it just says color sensational but it is technically one of the vivids so I think they did the same thing for this one this was a vivid color it's called on fire red but they just moved it to their color sensational line um, so I, I loved it as I talked about in my other video my pinks video I loved the vivids line I have like most of the colors um, they're just really nice they're very bright um, so this is on fire red I'll try to do it like right here they have a little more of like a sheer like a gel consistency they're not like a super opaque like creamy full coverage red it's a little bit more kind of gel um, but they are very bright as you can see that's just a nice bright like blue based I would say you know has a little bit of a pink pinkish base but it's not the base is not pink it's not like it is red so it's really pretty again this is newer so I haven't actually I tried it on once but I didn't wear it like out or anything so but I feel like these again they're they're sort of along the lines of my balm stains um, in that you know you put it on it looks a little bit like a stain um, you know they have a high shine and everything you can build them up but as the day goes on they will stain your lips a bit um, so these can be a good good option too if you're looking for something long-lasting that you may not have to touch up as much um, it's like almost like pure pigment kind of in a gel formula so that's another nice option so that's called on fire red color sensational by Maybelline this should still be available so yeah so that concludes <laughs> that concludes my reds video so you know I hope you enjoyed I hope you maybe found something um, you know helpful and um, you know I like making videos I like talking to the camera about makeup because I love makeup makeup is my passion I love playing around with makeup, experimenting with makeup. I love, you know, helping other people find things that work for them. You know, I love just like, it's fun to just bring out my stash of makeup and, you know, swatch the pretty colors. So hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. So thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.